Okay, so we're just going to do some practice problems here where we're mastering molecular weights. And really the only thing you need to know before this is that molecular weight describes um, how much something weighs when you have one mole of it. So the units of molecular weight are grams per mole. And so we'll just get started with problem one. The molecular formula for strontium oxide is SRO. A chemist makes 24.7 grams of it, and so we need to find how many moles of strontium oxide there are. So the first step is to find the molecular weight, and you can do that by summing up the atomic weights of the atoms in that molecule. So strontium oxide is a heterodiatomic molecule, so we need to find the molecular weight for strontium which is 87.62 grams. Oxygen you'll find is 15.999 grams. When you add that up, you have 103.62 grams for strontium oxide in a mole. So now, now that we know that we started with 24.7 grams, we just need to convert this to moles, and that's what the molecular weight is for. You just divide by the molecular weight, and you'll find that grams cancel, and the answer is that there are 0 0.24 moles of strontium oxide, and that's the answer. What about another one? Chlorine is a toxic gas. How many moles are there in 11.5 grams? So we need to do this in the same way, except we're not given the molecular formula for chlorine. One thing you need to know about chlorine is it's homodiatomic, and it exists. Oh, I can't spell atomic. Let's rewrite that. Diatomic. Okay. So chlorine is Cl2, and there are six other uh, elements that exist uh, as homodiatomic molecules in their elemental form, and that's the other halogens, bromine, iodine, and fluorine, as well as hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. So this is important, and you should remember that these seven exist and in homodiatomic uh, forms. So here, chlorine is what we need to work with, and so let's just look for the molecular weight of chlorine. And you can do that. Chlorine is 35.453, and there's two of them, so the molecular weight turns out to be 70.906 grams per mole. And so now we can just convert the mass given to us in the question to moles like we did before dividing by the molecular weight and this turns out to be 0 0.16 moles that's the answer what about another one formic acid is a natural carboxylic acid it's in the venom of bees and ants, and we're given its formula. And so we need to know how many grams there are now in 12.6 millimoles. Okay, so this is a bit more complicated. First, let's find the molecular weight. So there are two hydrogens, one carbon, and two oxygens. When you add that up, that turns out to be 46.025 grams per mole. And we're starting with 12.6 millimoles. We need to be in moles because that's what molecular weight is. So you can just do that by moving the decimal over. So that is 0 0.126 moles. And now we can just multiply that by the molecular weight. And that turns out to be 0 0.58 grams of formic acid. And you're done.